Hello there viewers and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 where I should be starting this episode off with the harvest of the wheat field but I did go into the contract because I need a little bit of extra money because it's going to be a long time till we can sell the wheat or the barley and I would like to actually get chickens. So I would like to do some bailing. So that is field number two and seven, which I would like to do in today's episode. So I'll accept that one and accept this one. There we go. So two fields have now been accepted which means two contracts which is good there we go bring us extra money i need to drop off the weight i don't really need it with uh, the trailer it was the uh, line spreader which I needed it for desperately so I need to go and pick up my baler as well as the wind rower because I did notice I could hire a wind rower in the contracts so I guess it's just going to be sprawled across the field whatever I'm picking up I didn't take notice there we go. There is 5,122 of grass in here already. So I need build seven, which is all the way up. Up. Isn't it up? Wait, there's six. There's five, nine. Over, ah, seven here. Oh, and field two, which is just directly opposite. So I will actually go ahead and say I'll meet you there. Can I go under here? Yes, I can. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that and say I'll see you there then. Nearly there. At Field 7, the fit agri is behind, the worker is bringing fit agri with the front loader attached with the bale fork and the blue small trailer as well. Okay, I think I needed to read that better. What have we got in a field two then? I might actually need to uh, go back uh, to my farm and get the uh, mower. I actually thought I was going to uh, bail up straw or something because I have actually got that mild added on yeah both grass okay then that's fair news fine i just got completely confused and i needed to actually read the full contract instead of just going oh it's bailing it must be the new mod what i've uh, installed to allow me to uh pick up uh straw so, I need to <laughs> go back and uh, get the uh, mowers. Oh, blimey. Right, let me get all of this set up and sort it. Okay, I'll go and say this straight away. Whenever you take out a contract, 100% 
make sure that you read what it actually says. For a moment, I thought it was just going to be me picking up the uh, straw and bailing them up because I have got the straw mod which allows you to bail straw on the missions. To then find out once I'm actually at the field that is grass so I need to cut the grass and bail it but and this is the biggest but it isn't that simple field seven which I'm actually going to I have to cut then tether and then bail it and take it to the livestock market field two I have to mow the grass then bail the grass and wrap it to make silage bales. I can't do this job unless I lease out a wrapper, which if you go into here and then go into wrappers and cheapest one you can get is this one. And to lease it, it is 1,122. So I can do that, but that's cutting into the profits of the contract because I didn't read it properly. But hopefully me getting this cartridge over here actually helps out. There we go. I have been past this area multiple times. That means I need to get to field seven and attach this. Get the. Oh, I'm gonna yeah, run over the trailer. You know what? I'm going to sell that blue trailer. So, what I need to do is attach the weight attached to the trailer, get the fit agri to go to the shop, why didn't that attach, there we go, and buy a tether, there we go, park up here, out, Going to workers, great job for you to go here. There we go. Start the job, and that is that. So, whilst that is going ahead and going to the shop. I can go ahead and get to build seven, cut the grass. Here I am. All right, let's get this mower on the back into position. I'm going to cut around the edges first, and then I will bring in the front mower. Mow the rest with back mower. I just would like to get the edging done first. Wait for the rear fit I agree to actually get to the shop. And because I'm actually tethering, I don't want to go over too much of the actual uh, farmland. Because I'll lose some of the grass. It won't allow me to pick it up. It'll be nice to actually uh, cut the uh, meadow grass as well as the uh, field grass for these uh, jobs. I do believe in 17 you could actually do that by a margin though. Right. 
the worker is now there. Let me just finish this bit off. I know I am teleporting to the tractors. Oh, and I'm not working at a uh, time sparring. There you go. I switched it to 0 0.5 whilst I was planning stuff for the episode. And I should have spent longer on that. Because. I wouldn't have made all these mistakes. And I am sorry for that. So let me go ahead and sell this trailer. There we go. Don't need it anymore. And paint, sell, Brian. And now I need another trailer, but it's a failed trailer. And I don't think it is in this category. No, it's not. Is it underneath fails? No. Where would it be? I don't think it's a bow loader. No. Oh, actually, wait a sec. I think it is. I think this is the trailer I'm on about, but I have to go and check. Yes, it is. There is this trailer and this trailer. This trailer can transport other vehicles. You could probably put bales on that as well. Without support, with support. But mainly vehicles as it states. So this one is the one what I need. A bale loader eases the collection of bale. And I do believe this has got an auto loader as well as manual loading to it as well. I would like to have auto. Wait, can it only pick up round bales? No, wait. Yes, it can actually pick up the square bales. But mostly round, because obviously the support guards. And the colour, let's go ahead and pick out a nice colour. I actually don't like the other colours, to be honest. So, I'll keep it as that. What about the wheel setup, then? That doesn't change, so that just stays the same. So, it's either Michelin or Continental. I'll go with uh, Michelin. No need for number plate. So there we go, 18 bales. I will buy that. And I might actually go ahead and uh, jump over to build number two and cut that. Whilst I am waiting. For the fair agri and I hope that the wrapper while leased out does indeed take square bales but let me get this sorted out I need the front and lowering help me out with this there we go I do like the uh, butterfly mowers better where you've got the small one at the front and then the uh, back mower is the one with two mowers, one on each side rather than just one back mower.
things wrong now and then. I'm not ashamed or embarrassed to admit that I've done something wrong. Even in videos, I'm not perfect. To be honest, no one's really perfect. We are all human and we all make mistakes. So, let me uh, get everything else sorted out. I actually didn't uh, show you me actually purchasing a brand new uh, tether and that actually did get brought up with the bit agri as well as the wrapper. I was just too involved in natural uh, mistake earlier but I didn't actually uh, go it. I do apologize for that but here is our brand new header and let's go ahead and go here actually you know what stay in the shop headers it's this one here i have actually uh, downloaded this one the pottinger and i went for this setup it cost me 10,200. I thought I'd better get that in. So I need to tether this up. And what else was it? Do I have to bail it or just make sure it's down there? Build seven. Header it, oh, and bail it. Okay, then that is good. So this is lowered. There you go. Now it's lowered. And there we go. We are tedding. Woohoo! saying the word skips on its own reminds me of the crisps skips and I love them prawn and cocktail absolutely love that flavour does anybody else like uh, prawn and cocktail crisps oh blimey I actually like uh, pineapple and ham on a pizza don't judge. I know a lot of people who uh, like it and dislike it. It's a bit like Marmite. I actually like Marmite. And I've got friends who can't even stand Marmite at all. It's like uh, when they came around uh, my house and there's me having uh, Marmite on uh, toast. They just hook straight back out the door. And I'm laughing because it is actually true. They walk in after uh, 
be welcomed in and uh, they see me uh, holding uh, Marmite on uh, toast and they walk straight back out and go in the garden. They didn't dislike it that much. They can't be uh, in the same area as someone actually eating it. Sometimes they did it on purpose, sometimes I actually uh, forgot. But there we go, that field is now deaded. Now it is fine for the uh, wind rowing and uh, baler. Can't believe how much uh, actually goes into uh, just getting uh, hay bales. And the time as well. This is a small field and it feels like I've taken most of the uh, episode up with it. Let's unfold. And if you hear me uh, clanging on the keyboard too much when uh, I'm doing control, it's just because my control button is plain up. I don't know why, because it is a new keyboard. Lower. There you go. Now, it does it after the second attempt. But turning on the power and unfolding and folding, it works straight away. There you go. The grass is now converted into hay. Hey, yeah, have you got any uh, friends like that? Who just can't stand certain things and they just walk out on you or they just don't talk to you at all? I've had that a couple of times uh, happen to me. I see a friend uh, after the incident, uh, after they've actually come round and gone, they ignore me. It's like, well, you shouldn't let him from me. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> Can we be friends still? <laughs> well, that's what I mean. I just had a good time with uh, my friends like that. I never judged them for it. Fine, I did have a laugh and going, really? You don't like that? And this and... Oh, some things that they do, I don't like and vice versa. is covered by videos but it's been awkward trying to get everything uh, put in place finding the time to do it because heck I have got a uh, life beyond YouTube so it's just been awkward and there's been mistakes and it kind of puts you down gets you frustrated but well, end of the day, they're just mistakes. You can come back from them. Never let them worry you too much. And I'm saying that myself as well. 
because there's been cases where I've been no I can't do this I can't do the bolt it has to be no videos at all for that entire space or when I'm actually on holiday because I can't do it it's just in, impossible there's too many mistakes and I can't come back from them it's too hard I just want to quit but no I'm going forward there we go turn all that off and unload that and there we have it let me go to the front bit lift it up because I don't think I can hold it up when it is actually uh, lowered there we go that is one two three five bales five bale awesome and I know I have got a uh, auto loader but I would like to actually load these bells up properly I do need these I'll get this in position and then I'll come back once I've delivered these to fill two and get the other things but for now I need to get into the field with this trailer and then get the uh, bell forks there we go oh no you meant to press and load up this uh, trailer is this side the weight go um, there we go right what I'm going to do is start a time lapse here once I've finished this field, I'll jump into the harvester and harvest the wheat. That's the main thing I need to do. And with field two, I'll probably do some jump cuts on that. I've spent a long time as it is on this field. So Please bear with me, and I will hopefully <laughs> do this right. Goodness me, Bale, please, why did you have to fall off? There's literally no need for it. I go forward, back, forward, and then lift. You should fall off. Okay go and it's still going you know what no bail you meant to go like that and add it up oh, there we go there hold you so
go. The wheat field is now the harvested. And I moved the trailer past off camera. Now everything should be back where it needs to actually be. Which means this harvester doesn't have to do anything at all until I believe the second day in July. Now let you to the test, shall we? First up nicely. Nope. It doesn't go on. Okay then. Perdues. It probably might if I could actually back up even further. So I can't actually put the wheat into the silo until I bring a tractor down here again. But speaking about the tractors, let's go ahead and get them over to field 2 already. And I do apologise if these bulk videos are kind of screw-riffy. I believe some of them will be done as two parts. So it'll be the same recording but split up into two parts. And am I going the right way? Yes I am going the right way. Good. There we go, and I will bunk you lot here. There we go. There. Then you. There. Bit Agri is ready to unload. So does that mean unload fails here? There we go. So I just need to drive straight in. There we go. Done. Contract on field 7 done and I got nearly uh, 3 grand in uh, sold bells and that is of course an environmental score as well. I need to go in contracts and um, completed. There you go. 3,584. There we go. Now it is on to field two, and you know what? I'm actually going to end the episode here because I'm not ready for harvesting canola quite yet. So that should give me time to start the next episode off with me doing the contract on field 2 and then doing the harvesting to end that episode and then get on to some field work and uh, prepping for the next uh, sewing session oh as well as the harvesting of the soybeans as well in field 37 so, this is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And hopefully it wasn't all screw with me. 
be bad. And again, hopefully you'll see me in the next one. Bye.